Hello and welcome to a new video. Since I often read questions about my add-ons and user interface in the video comments, I decided to dedicate a video for it to bundle this information up. In this video I will show you how I organized my user interface, which add-ons I use for this and what other add-ons I'm using and my macros for quality of life and to get a better performance in-game. So let's start with my user interface. To get those bars organized like this, I use the add-on Bartender. This neat little add-on let you keep your user interface clean by changing your bars and put them away anywhere you want it on your screen. If you left click this add-on here, you can simply adjust your bars, for example this bar 1 here, by simply moving it around. If you press left click again, it will lock it up. If you right click, you can change any setting you want inside the menu. For example, you can enable and disable bars, you can change the scale, the buttons and the rows any way you like it. You can do this for all action bars. As you can see I don't use any bar here. Also for pet bar and for your stance bar. You also can change your back bar, your micro menu, your reputation bar, experience bar and anything else you want here. For example you can disable your back bar here, enable it and move it around on the screen every way you like it. For everything I can't adjust with Bartender, I use the add-on Move Anything. You can open the menu by writing slash move in your chat. With this you can see this grid here and you can change everything on the screen you like. For example your buff bar, the debuff bar and anything else you can see like your character your casting bar or anything else on the menu here. This is really helpful to make your UI cleaner and to see anything. But a warning here, this add-on will cause Lua errors, so I use the add-on Hide Error Messages to cover this up. The next add-on, which is really useful for Season of Discovery, is Engraver. This allows you to change your runes on a click for every rune slot you have. If you go inside your options and your add-ons, you can also see the add-ons you are using and here you can change the settings for this add-on. For example, enable right click drag allows you to move it around or you can disable it to make it unmovable here. You can also hide the tooltip if you want to or do other stuff inside the setting menu. The next add-on I want to show you is Plater. This add-on changes your nameplates which shows health bars debuffs and everything combat related in a clean way. I only use it for enemy players and enemy NPCs, not for friendly nameplates. You can change this here in a general setting. I will share my Plater profile in the video description. The next add-on I'm using is Minimap Button Button. This is this button here, which helps you to organize all your buttons for your add-ons on your minimap or clean interface in this little menu here. So those are mainly my add-ons for my user interface. To keep my add-ons up to date and to get new add-ons I use CurseForge as you can see. This program helps you to find new add-ons for your version of World of Warcraft and it allows you to keep them up to date. The next add-on on my list which is really really important is Weak Aura. Weak Aura is absolutely necessary for WoW players with insane utility. I will do an own segment for my Weak Auras later on. Next add-on I want you to show is Leatrix Plus. Leatrix Plus helps you to automate your loot, automate your quests and save a lot of time. For example, it also allows you to hide error messages, automate your quests, accept summons, auto release in PvP sell your chunk automatically and do other really useful stuff. As you can see I don't use anything from it but it's really really helpful in my opinion. The Atrix Maps is the next add-on. This shows you a more organized map and it will also show you an advanced version of the map and it removes the fog of war. The next add-on I want to show you is Spike Classic. This is simply a window which shows you enemy players. If you play on a PvP server, you can see who is around you and if you can expect an ambush in the future. The next add-on you can see here is details. 
Detail shows you numbers about your damage, your healing and everything else you need to know about combat. For example with the plugin Tiny Threat you can see your position on the threat meter in fights and you can also adjust it for everything else combat related for example the spells, deaths and CC breaks or interrupts. Backnon is an add-on to organize your bags. It puts all your bags together into one big one to show you what you have in your inventory. The next add-on is looking for group bulletin board. Here you can see everything from the looking for group channels together in one window. So it makes it way easier for you to find the right party for your dungeon or rig. You can also minimize stuff if you want to see only one dungeon for example. Or you can specifically search for stuff here. The next add-on I use is Nova World Buffs. This shows you on which layer you are on the world, if events are starting like the Ashenwild or Stranglethorn event, when Darkmoon Fairy is up again and other useful stuff. Combine this with Nova Instance Tracker because this shows you information about your dungeon and your dungeon lockouts for example. Gargoo is a really useful add-on for raids because it organizes your looting, for example soft reserves and groups and raids and it lets you automatically roll on this stuff. The next add-on you can see here is Pally Power for Paladins. This allows you to organize your raid buffs and your auras for example. I made a whole guide about it which you can find here. Add the boss mods or DBM together with big wigs and little wigs tells you everything you need to know in a raid about encounters and mechanics and it helps you in fight. Really useful add-on to have you. Questy shows you all quest related stuff. It tracks your quests and it shows you where to go and where to find quests in the world on your map. The next add-on is GTFO or get the fuck out. This makes a loud sound when you stand in fire or other stuff you're not supposed to stand in. This helps you not to die in game. Decursive is a really good add-on for healers and classes which can decurse. It shows you on a grid row here which party members or raid members of you have a disease, a magic debuff or any other kind of debuff which you can dispel and you can dispel it by simply clicking on it here or to use a dedicated keybind for it. The add-on Postal helps you to organize your mail by auto-looting your mail, for example for clicking on open all here, which makes stuff way faster. The add-on Outfitter lets you change your outfits with one click, so it helps you to save a lot of time. You can rename your outfits and you can update here or rebuild it. Next is Trinket menu, which you can see here. With this add-on, you can simply change your trinket with one click. The next add-on is Auctionator. Auctionator allows you to make shopping lists and do recent searches about items. It shows you everything related to this item inside the auction house together with more prices and other stuff. It also helps you to sell stuff real quick by putting together stacks of it. So you basically make good money with this adder. Next to macros. My most important macros are start attack macros. As you can see here, you can simply hashtag show tooltip with your spell. You don't need to do this part here if you have only one cast. It will always show the tooltip of your first cast here, together with cast crusader strike and slash start attack. What this does is it casts Crusader Strike and always do auto attacks after it. I combine this together with Judgment because if you have the tier 2 Draconic set you no longer lose your Judgment on your seals. So you can combine this in all your spells together for example Divine Storm, Crusader Strike, Exorcism. You always use Judgment on the same time because it won't use up your global cooldown. The next important macro are mouse over macros. For example I use mouse over macros for my flash of light my cleanse and my holy light. What this does, it allows me to use my spells on every enemy NPC or player or friendly player without targeting them. So as you can see here, I don't target Siren Forge Guard here, but if I cast my heal on it, it still applies to him. So this is really, really helpful to cast your spells faster. You can do this with clans, as I said. I have a modified version for this for Holy Light, as you can see here. If I don't have anything in target, I will use Holy Light on myself because of the target layer command here. And if I hover with a mouse over anything else, I will cast it on them. 
really useful. You can do this with all your healing and dispelling spells. Also with repentance, for example, so you don't have to target anything else. You can just hover over another NPC or player and repentance them. The last macro I want to show you is a cast sequence macro. With this, you use your spells in a cast sequence. That means, for example, I use it for my Seal of Martyrdom and Seal of Righteousness or Seal of Martyrdom and Seal of Command here with only one button. I apply both of my seals. So this is really useful for seal twisting. It helps you to save some key bindings. And with this, you won't ever fat finger a seal. So you always do the right seal here. Thanks to a guild member of mine, which showed me this. Because I thought cast sequence macros are not possible in Season of Discovery, it actually is possible in this version of the game. You can also do this with other spells as well. Finally, for weak hours, the most asked question I have is what is my swing timer weak aura? You can see it here. This is a combination of the retribution seals and a swing timer together with an indicator for seal twisting. I will share this weak aura in the video description down below so you can copy it. You can import this weak aura by writing slash wa in your chat after you downloaded the weak aura add on and then you go on import and you simply paste the text I copy in the video description or the comment inside of here. You need the English client to make this work. Otherwise, it possibly is not working for you. So what are my other weak hours? I have an indicator for Horn of Lauderon. Every time I have to reapply Horn of Lauderon here and rate related stuff like EWL related weak hours, Molten Core related weak hours, or stuff for my priest, for example, the Somoncoli tracker here or the shield add-on here, which shows me a bar for my priest shields or for defensive potions. If you want to know any of this weak errors, simply let me know in the comments and I will share it with you. So let me know in the comments which add-ons you use and which you can't play without. Thanks for watching and if you found this useful, consider to like and subscribe for more World of Warcraft Season of Discovery content.